Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and this video is going to be very quick. I just wanted to share with you something that I thought it is cool. Uh, so if you've been following me in the past few weeks, you will know that I started to create these kind of animations that shows a specific subject in our industry or like a geostatistical method like uh, ordinary quigging or for example RBF implicit boundary or maybe variograms um, these animations are going to show you like the concept the, ma the math behind that and uh, in an easy to understand way and I thought that's gonna be useful for a lot of you and I've noticed also that a lot of you have been liking this kind of stuff so if you'd like to see more of these animations make sure to follow me on LinkedIn because that's where I ask you, what is the next animation? So one of these animations, it was the RBF implicit boundary modeling. But now I have this simple yet um, very fun to use application that I built. And let me show you how it works. Yeah, so by the way, the link to this application is going to be in the description below. Make sure to download this one and use it. And it's basically doing RBF in a 2D grid, but then making this a 3D application is as easy as adding another dimension. So let me show you how it works. So first of all, we can actually add points to a domain one or a domain two. So let's see if we, we can actually input the X, Y values here, or we can digitize these. So how to do that is just with a left click, you will add a point to domain one. And with a right click, you'll add a point to the domain two. So let's left click and then right click. And you can see that I've added two points. This is a domain one and this is domain two. And then automatically the app is going to create a boundary between the two domains. And you can see that the boundary is set as zero. And if you watch that RBF uh, boundary uh, modeling animation, you will know what zero means in this case. So let's go and add more. So we can add as many points as we want and the boundary between the two domains is gonna be updated. So let's add a point, a red point here. And then you can see that this is the new boundary. Let's add a, another blue point here and let's add a red point here. And you can see that the boundary changes as we go. So it's, it's a really fun, you know, uh, way to see how the RBF works and then if you want to reset the view you can click on reset points it will reset between 0 to 1 but then if you would like to change the extent of the scene all you have to do is to put in whatever extent that you want so by default it's set to 20 so I can apply the new extents and then this is what I get so let's try these ones so I can do like 10 10 and I will add the point to domain one. It's not going to be there because basically the app is trying to build the boundary between just uh, uh, with, with just one point, which is not possible. Let's do like five, five, and let's add that point. And now you can see that this is 10, 10, and this is five, five. And I can also continue to digitize if I want. So it's a really cool app and it's uh, really simple to create. And I can also, another thing I can do is, let's say I don't want this to be this smooth so I can change the spacing, hit enter. But now if I add a point, you can see that the boundary is not that smooth. So I can change this to, for example, point one, and I can add another point here and you can see now that the boundary is smoother. So yeah, anyone can download this app, anyone can use it for free, and uh, you'll find the link in the description below. And also, if you would like to know or to learn how I created this app, there's this link here that will take you to the video uh, that will show you step by step. I think it's a one hour video that will show you step by step how I created this and how you can create that. So that was the thing that I wanted to show you. 
And with that being said, see you in the next video.